What's up guys? I'm joined in by a very special guest, John Morlock, the California right. State Senator representing District 37 here. You threw out the first pitch tonight. It looked pretty good. How did it feel for you? Um, it, it was good. I mean, I didn't bounce it and I didn't throw it too high. So it wasn't over the plate, which would have been really cool for a 62 year old man, but we gave it a I shot. I wasn't going to ask your age, but if you threw it in, you know, hey. you know I threw it in. Okay. Well, you were a first timer, you said. I know you're hoping to make a push. You're wearing your Angels shirt under here, representing Orange County. Do you hope to throw out the first pitch there one day? Say that again? Do you hope to throw out the first pitch of the Angels Wouldn't game that, one day? That would be sweet. I would love to do that. Put, let's put that on the bucket list. Okay. We'll probably push the, the video out, hopefully get it out there for them to pick Tell up Marty on. Tell Marino I'm really interested. <laughs> All right. I did my homework. You're a graduate of Long Beach State That's here. That's right. So I know you're obviously familiar with UC Irvine. How does it feel to be on an, an enemy territory? Well, actually, I always wanted to go to UCI. It was a brand new campus. It's only been around like a little over 50 years. Mm -hmm. And so when I was out of high school, my dad took me down here. And I said, I really, I really want to go here, Dad. It was just, but it, it was like this, but no trees, just in the hills, no buildings. Uh, but it didn't have a business school. Okay. So I applied for Long Beach State. Mm -hmm. And I was accepted and enjoyed four years and a little maybe an extra semester to get things done and in 2014 they uh, honored me as alumni of the year for the school of business so that was really sweet and uh, i've had a good relationship okay. with cal state my sister went there and then my two brothers went to cal state fullerton so they're titans so it's kind of special tonight we'll let the rivalry slide on this one yeah, and yeah a just, great way to represent the orange county all around here yeah no and uci is in my district i get to right. have a lot of fun with janet napolitano up in sacramento and trying to make sure that everything is going well. I am on budget and fiscal review, and I sit on the subcommittee for education, so we get to review the budget for UC a lot and yeah. uh, meet with key staff to see what we can do to help out. So speaking of Sacramento, you run a weekly podcast, correct? Yeah, yeah. I do. We just started that a, a couple months ago, just trying to keep people apprised of you know topics that are important. Right, right now we've been actually broadcasting my opening speeches for bill presentation just to kind of give you a feel for what it's like what i gotta how i have to persuade my colleagues yeah. and that's the oc sacramento connection it's on itunes i believe that that's correct if or, anyone's or interested sound in cloud or SoundCloud, whatever yeah. you listen to your podcast. We'll just go to our website and i have a blog as well which will keep people at you know up to date on what i'm what kind of trouble i'm causing don't put it that way, you might scare them off. <laughs> um, all right, also, since we're on the university campus, there's students out there who might be listening, interested in internships as well. I know you guys offer internship programs. Talk a little bit about that. We have internships in our district office, Costa Mesa, real close to South Coast Plaza, and then uh, in the capital as well. And we've been uh, fortunate the last two years to have uh, individuals in the fellows program as well. So it's a lot of fun. We, we, we uh, certainly, in the fellows program, we really keep them really challenged. They, they do carry uh, and work bills for me. They're, it's their responsibility. Uh, at the district office, we, we just finished a major project that kept a lot of interns busy, trying to look at the financial statements. So if you're an accounting kind of student that wants some experience in government, we've been looking at the comprehensive annual financial reports of all 482 cities, just to kind of see where they're at financially. Just finished the study and we'll announce it soon on all the community college districts. There's 72 in the state. And, and how are they doing? There's a lot of pressures on the finances of our school systems. Our school boards are having a, a real difficult time trying to figure out how to make pension plan contributions. So it's, it's an interesting period in California's history. Right. So is that strictly for undergraduate students? Or are there any graduate opportunities available? Either way is fine. We even take some high school seniors. Uh, so, we, you know, if, if we can pitch in, we're happy to we keep you busy. Okay, and then what's the best way to look into that and apply your website as just, well? Yeah, just contact my district director if you want to do it here locally. And if you go to Sacramento, Sacramento State runs the uh, fellows program, but we also take interns. Just call my uh, chief of staff. Okay. Well, politics aside, I know you, I heard you say you're a big baseball fan. Walk us through, you know, some of your experiences around the ballpark. Well, I uh, actually was involved in Little League, uh, uh, you know, uh, 11 and 12. I didn't go on to Pony and, and, and the rest, I, uh, but I enjoyed my two years in Little League and just always, uh, I, I just, it's nice to have an angel game going as background noise when I'm 
studying at night or on a Saturday working at the office. It's just kind of nice to, to have it back there. Uh, certainly enjoy going to games when I can. It's kind of a busy life. But uh, it went to the 2002 World Series. I think it went to three of the seven, three of the games that were at, at Angel Stadium, and we beat the Giants. Yeah, admittedly, cool. I'm a Giants fan. He had yeah, to bring that up. We talked really about that. Great. It was uh, kind of fun to watch momentous uh, moments. In, I think in we've had our sweet revenge. I'll just leave it at that, right? And to to be a it's, game a, it's seven, an even year. I, I even have a photo of the final moments where all the paper went up, and I've got it in my library up at home. It's, we were doing so it's really well. It's really sick. We were you know, doing but, so well. But but when I'm in Sacramento, they don't play Angels and Dodgers games. I got to listen yeah. to A's and Giants That's games. Why it's so, the capital? They know better. So up there. absolutely, you know, it's really fun to see the rivalry even up there. Uh, we have a lot of fun with it, actually, you know, amongst the senators and the assembly members. There's a, you know, there's the LA guys and there's the Bay Area guys. So you, you get to enjoy that stuff. Absolutely. Well, Mayor Wagner, Mayor of Irvine, was out here a few weeks ago. I asked him, it's a central question at the ballpark, hot dog or kettle corn? Hot dogs or California? Kettle corn. Oh, kettle corn. Oh, hot dogs over kettle corn. Okay. Yep. That's the political consensus I've come right? up with here so far. I'm into protein. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're a big guy. I'll take you the need risk. To feed those muscles. <laughs> yes. All right, Senator Morlock, thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Oh, thanks for having me. Well, uh, be sure to first that push yeah, that first pitch zot, out zot, too. Zot. Yeah. You got it. Zot, zot, zot. There you go. All right. Thank All you. Right, thank you.